some dumb bastards out yeah. there today. Son, if somebody else out there just a little bit bad, I said, No, hell no, mama, somebody got to be the bad. I'm Mr. Body Catcher, Slaughter Gang, Soul Snatcher, Ain't no regular F150, this a fucking rapper. Yeah. No, you are watching a master switch it up. What's up guys welcome back to 806 driver if you're new to the channel welcome if you've been with us for a while y'all welcome back and today january 30th 2021 we made it to the end of another year y'all it's been a heck of one for us in a way of being so busy and then another way of uh you know, just everything going on in the world. Been pretty wild. Um, I just wanted to come on here and uh, being that I wasn't gonna really be able to make an official end of the year video or anything because we were just absolutely slammed. So uh, I thought I'd come in here and wish everybody a happy new year. And I hope everybody has a uh, good new year. Y'all look around the shop here a little bit. Hope everybody has a good year. Make 22, 22 double deuces. 2022, uh, well worth it. And I hope everybody's prosperous and healthy and uh, living the dream, like they say, right? Living the dream. So I kind of let y'all, y'all seen a little bit of uh, footage there before I got on here of what, we, what we're doing here right now. If you remember from the last video I had when uh, we were replacing the coolant hose, <clears throat> I had mentioned something about the oil leak that this truck had, having a bad, bad, badass oil leak. So, uh, so yeah, I mean, look at all that oil all over that box, that step box. I mean, it's, it is horrible. Now, what I was thinking, and what I'm pretty sure is the oil leak was coming from the seal on this uh, power steering pump. I just took the, uh, there's a bracket here that the power steering pump attaches to. That bracket right here, adapter, has the gear back here on the inside of the front. You can't really see down in there, but uh, it had an O-ring in there. That O-ring was in pretty bad shape too. So, uh, uh, man, I didn't have a new O-ring. I got the new gasket for here, but they didn't give me an O-ring for this. So. What I did is I uh, kind of cleaned the O-ring up good and I put some uh, RTV behind it and I'm fixing to tighten it back up. Clean this up good, put the new uh, gasket on here and put it back. I pulled the uh, air compressor out of the way to give me room, which I really didn't want to do because what's probably gonna happen now, I'll fix this leak and now the air compressor will probably start leaking. Y'all you, you know how that goes. 
fix one thing just to have another problem. So, uh, wipe this lens off right quick. It got a little blur to it. Yeah, I think that made it worse. Made it worse. Try that. I don't know, it still looks funny to me, but it might be because I don't have my glasses on there. I can't see, but this stud's pretty tight. That one's pretty tight. That one's a little loose, but these are, uh, hell, they, they're, they're drove in there and they're, they got some, they're tapered in there so they don't, they won't spin when you tighten them up or they're not supposed to. So uh, I'll put some silicone around them, some silicone around here. I got a new uh, O-ring for this too because I knew it was going to be taking that off. So hopefully that will fix our oil issue. And that might be what's giving this hell right there is that light. But, uh, but yeah, so I'm about to put all this back together and uh, I'll time lapse that on out. And uh, like I said, I hope everybody has a uh, happy new year and I appreciate everybody supporting the channel this will we're about to go into our third year really our uh half a year so uh keep in touch uh hopefully we'll have some good videos coming have some good videos coming and uh man look at the oil on this side yo yeah hopefully we'll have some uh good videos coming some good footage and uh right now I, i've kind of been slacking on the footage just because it's the end of the year and a lot going on and um uh, you know with family coming in and everything and to be honest with you we're running the same route every day two loads a day up to that feed lot up there and y'all would just be bored to death with that so until i do something kind of new uh i don't know what we're gonna do for uh content but uh hang in there stay with us be sure to check us out on tiktok uh facebook instagram snapchat links are in the description uh go check out texas large car boys and uh show them support tell them uh some support tell them uh, 806 driver sent you about trip and uh we're gonna get this sucker put back together so we can roll tomorrow so uh happy new year Keep the shiny side up, the hammer down, and we'll catch y'all next year. Cruising on 95 and an Amazon truck passes me on the shoulder. Texas Large Carboy showing those hands out east how we do.